Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it up for 30 plus years, where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and maintenance. Today we're going to talk about some ways that you can control your binge eating during the day while you're at work, for example. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website, which has hundreds of articles and recipes, my two books, which you can find on Amazon, and lastly, if you appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. Now, we have various episodes here on steps to control uh, your binge eating, steps to control that impulse to want to go to Burger King and buy six Big Macs. And I understand like there are people who are overweight who don't suffer from binge eating disorder of anything or any, or any such thing or any kind of variation of that. But there are people that do. And, and I've mentioned before, I think the large majority of people who are overweight including myself when I was younger, have a disordered relationship with food. We turn to food, and normally this was created at a very young age. We turn to food for nurturance, or we, or we turn to food to soothe the pain. We turn to food in, in a bad way, in that we need to learn to attack the childhood trauma that caused us to, to form this link and break this link, disassociate emotions from food. Other way, for some people, you might have to do what I did. I mentioned in, in Reflections of a Weight Loss Warrior, probably episode 15, that there was a time, and this is, I mean, 10, 15 years post weight loss, where I would, when I would go to work, would leave my credit card, my, my wallet, aside from my driver's license at home, because the impulse to get something on the way home from work was so strong. And I talk about that episode, I'll try to put a banner here for it that I would pilfer through the drawers of my colleagues to find quarters here or there like a drug addict. Just enough I can get a bean burrito from Taco Bell. So I hear you, I know what you're going through if you're in that situation. So if you're one of these people, again, one of the tips you can do is just take your driver's license with you because of course the impulse is gonna be, well, no, no, I need to have it for emergencies. Do you really? I mean, what are the chances that you're really going to need your credit card and so forth on a given day if you're going to work and come back to work? Now, you can rationalize that you do, but do you really need it? Probably not. So if, if it takes you to leave your house and get out the door, and even though you're coming with excuses to leave your stuff there, once you're on the road and once you're at work, it is a, re a relief because you're like, well, then I have no temptation to stop at Burger King or to stop at the grocery store, Walgreens or whatever on the way home and get a bunch of stuff. Now, what else could you do? Like for lunch, for example, in addition to this or aside from this, you could just take a small lunch and that's it. So if you take a small lunch or a reasonable lunch, whatever you want to call it, and you don't take your credit card, that's even a better thing. Now, for example, I talked about my fasting episodes that I don't eat till three. Now I'm not really tempted. Uh, so the way the, the way it works is I don't like to be home um, when I'm doing work. I, I work in a kind of virtual setting, so I could work from home. I don't like to be at home. I'm an extrovert. I need to be at coffee shops or libraries or places like this. And so I don't have the binge eating binge eating issue. But what I do is I'll take my lunch, and normally I break my fast around three with some like some pieces of dark chocolate or some peanut butter and dark chocolate or some nuts something that's very keto high fat and the beauty is, is like that's it so i if i leave the door only with that food i eat it and it fills me up because it's very fatty and then i don't eat anything until dinner and the other answer i benefit is like even though i'm at coffee shops i'm so frugal with my money it's like i i'm not even tempted like sometimes i'll do work at a, at a bakery where they have cupcakes and cheesecakes and i'm not tempted and it's a combination of I'm just super frugal, and it's mostly just a combination of I'm just super frugal, uh, but I'm not really tempted. And also, like I've talked about before, it's like once you've worked to get to a certain place, you and once you reach a certain age, and once it's like for me, it's been decades, you kind of know the pitfalls and traps, and it's like, is it really worth it to spend $6 on a cheesecake slice? Probably not, you know, because it's it, it's not going to make you feel good. And certainly you, you should be able to eat here and there when you want. I do. I, I'll, I'll eat desserts here and there and so forth. But it kind of keeps you motivated to know the thought process. So once you disassociate your emotions from food, you could be like, do I really want this cheesecake? It's like, I'll just wait till I get home. 
And so by packing and leaving with my bag of nuts, my dark chocolate peanut butter, I'm not really tempted to buy anything because I'm too cheap. But if I were to do work from home, it's a different story. I am more productive when I'm working, let's say at a public library than at home, because at home, I can just turn on TV, right? At home, you just, it's so much easier to get distracted. And also if I'm at home and when I do break my fast, then I'm more likely to eat more foods because there's more foods here. So it's just better to just take take your lunch with you. So if you're if you're suffering from like binge eating impulses throughout the day, there are safeguards that you can put in. And certainly I think maybe it helps if you if you're married because if you don't take your credit cards with you, you know you can always call uh, somebody who can bring you a card or whatever. But if if your binge eating impulses are really strong, guys, then I would really recommend you just don't take money or credit cards with you wherever you go and just pack your lunch. And these two things, aside from just the day in, day out processing. So let's say you do take your credit cards and everything and you're, you're tempted to stop by Dairy Queen and get four blizzards. Just the thought, that, that connection, like deep breath. What am I really doing? What am I really trying to escape from? What is the purpose of this? How is this gonna help me? Talk it out, write it out, call your accountability buddy, whatever it is, and just get it out in the open because lots of times when we're tempted to, to binge eat, a lot of the times it's because we're, we're, we're stifling, we're suppressing, we're stymieing this impulse. It's better to get it out, write it out, journal it out, talk to somebody, or just talk to yourself about it. So all these things can help you with the lunchtime binge. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.